Okay, well, we got rained out yesterday, but I'll show you what we managed to do. Yesterday, I built the one 16 foot long by 8 foot deck yesterday. And I'll show you what we did today. That's what we have done so far. All the way to the end. We just finished that today. Yesterday, we built this one here. And then uh, we started on this one yesterday and we got rained out, but today we just finished it up. And that's exactly how it's looking. Is that it peeking around the corner? <laughs> so uh, anyways, yeah, that's how it looks. It's all done. Even better view here again. It's getting better. I think that's about it so I'm gonna start uh, I think I'm gonna start putting some of the forms together for our cement pads here for underneath and lift that corner I'll bring up a jack sometime and pick that corner up before I pour the form for that oh we also got some of these for them as well these flash at night and they have their little panel right there and that's what they are right here. Solar powered 20 LED multi-colored string lights. Dual function, static and flashing. Well, that's how it looks. Pretty sturdy as well, notice how they're hiding here. <laughs> so, it's pretty long, it's 48 feet long this deck, by eight feet. So there's, so I built 48 feet by eight feet. And this section here is four feet by 20 foot, this section. And uh, that's how it goes. When I say I built, I really mean Heather and I. Right? Yeah, I helped screw down nails and hold You sure boards. did? Yeah, swat flies. Swat flies, yeah, did a lot of that. <laughs> okay, well, we're gonna get the bracing underneath and uh, yeah, I'll show you what it looks like in a little while. Alright, well I'm going to show you how I make simple little forms to hold these together. And for moving. You can see some of these, there's some pretty, uh, well these are rocks that were brought in, but underneath here is all, uh, I don't know if you call that Canadian shield. But anyways, it's, it's pretty hard, you're not digging through it. And there's a really good slope here, see the runoff? So I don't think this is going to heave very much under here. I don't think it'll heave at all, but uh, we're gonna find out. So anyways, I'll set this up here for now. That's the bit to put my screws in. Um, this was sent to me, which I really appreciate that kit that was sent to me. And then I'll show you how I do this. I just take a couple of these leg bolts. So the whole, once I'm done, the whole pad will have to lift and it should go back down. I leave it sticking out that far. That's the size of forms I built, just really quick. I reuse these two as I go. Um, I try to stick these about halfway up or a little lower than halfway of the forms. And I just stick two of them in, one on either side, just so it grips the concrete. Oops. Sorry, babe. No, that's my fault. Let's stick it out about there. Then to get it somewhat level, I just take this. And uh, I'm certainly not sticking the level on these farms because it doesn't really matter too much. I mean, I'll set this here and put this back in here. I'm just following the contour of the ground too. If sums up or down a little bit, it doesn't really matter because I cut them to fit. I just, I didn't want to disturb the ground too, too much other than what you see me just doing here. Now I know this probably won't work for if you're in an area where you have building codes like I said before. But there are no building codes. And I would rather do it this way with some bolts in here than buy those deck 
deck bricks, deck stones, whatever you call them, where your little 4x4 sits into. There you go, and I'll just put some of this around here a bit. And then, uh, now we mix our mix up our concrete just in a wheelbarrow. We just they just bought bags of uh, ready mix, I guess you call it. So there's what it looks like there. That's how she be. That's one form. So we'll fill that full of cement. I will trowel it. So we have three to do here, and then uh, that's it. Can you see that? I'll show you here. That's what they're looking like here. That's all. Very simple. And that one as well. That one as well. And then you can see the other three we did down there. You can see what this is looking like. Now, here, where I join these, I have to put in a little spacer in the back here and push these in and attach them. That's no big deal though. Because they ran so far. This maybe, well, it couldn't have been on the other side either. But anyways, that's where she'd be. So I'll just put a put a block up in between them and attach that. There's only uh, three joints in it. We can see another joint down there. But that's what it looks like under here. That is, uh, that deck is 48 feet long by eight feet out. And uh, you see how I attach it to the wall over there. Not going nowhere. It's pretty straight. And uh, certainly didn't take long to build it. Yeah, very inexpensive to build as well because, like I say, there is no building code, so we don't have to get anybody else involved. We just do it the way we want it, and I rather like that. So we're going to get our concrete mixed up here, and we're going to put it in the forms, and we'll be back. The delivery guy broke the bag on this cement. Concrete, that's why it's in tails. Fred's just getting the shovel and I'll mix that up. mixer at home but it uh, wouldn't fit in the car. Can you see that from way over there? Or are you free to get concrete on yourself? No, I don't care about that. I just didn't want to get in your way. It won't get in my way. Maybe a little wet, but that's okay. corner I'll be right there please thank you well watch where you going babe
right back. Swing there. You don't want to put that piece of grass in your mouth. A little pale would have been nice, but we don't have it, so that's okay. The floors, the, the floors, the horse and deer flies are terrible today. So yeah. sorry about the camera moving. They are brutal, eh? They're bitey. That one will name bitey. Huh? That one will name bitey. Ooh. There will be a lot named bitey. Wasn't that off the Simpsons? Yeah. I named the big one bitey. What's that? I named the big one bitey. <laughs> but the possums, I think it was. There's a family of possums living in here. <laughs> okay, a little more? Yep. or so. One or two more. Maybe one more, I think. One more a little bit. Okay. Heather, could you pass me that old hoe down there? We managed to find this, so that will work as our trowel. I'll work it, I'll get all the air, get all the honeycomb out of the side of it if I can. Helicopters are flying over. I don't know if they're doing geological surveys or if they're looking for fire, I don't know. I am no mason either. So 
So that's how that one's going to look. Get rid of the honeycomb of it here. Get rid of some air bubbles. Okay, see that? That's how it looks. Now I'm going to bring some more back over here. Alright, so that's the first one you've seen me do. That's the second one, and that is... The third one, you can see that one there looks a little rough because it was dry. I tried to mix in a pail and it didn't work. Actually, no, I poured it in there. Anyways, the other two looks fine. A little honeycomb in that one, but I started banging the sides here on these forms to get the liquid to, to wash down. Kind of like a vibrator, basically. Anyways, we have uh, one, two, three, four, five more to go on this side. One at the far end I have to jack up yet to fix. And then a few more along the front, and that's it for the forms. So, uh, alrighty.